Consider this video as the music video title masterclass. This is the only video you're going to have to watch on how to make titles for music videos. Let's hop right into it. So starting off inside of Premiere Pro here, we have this BLP Kosher Skidoo music video that just came out. I edited the entire video and this is the title that I went with for the project. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can do a simple title just like this, a 3D title, an animated title, and a lot more. What we want to hop into is this tab right here in Premiere Pro called Essential Graphics. If you guys don't have it, it's going to be up here under Window and then you can go and turn it on right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this title off and we can get started by pressing T on our keyboard and then clicking on our little screen right here. We can then type the title of the song. So we'll go with Skidoo there. I'm going to press Control A to highlight it. And then boom, you guys could see inside of Essential Graphics here, we have all of these different options to play with it. So turning this up here is going to increase the size and you guys can align it to your scene by playing with the align tools right here. Now, right here, you're going to have all these different text options and we're going to be going over where you guys can get your fonts and all of that. So I'm going to go with a font that I have installed here. So let's go with this one here and then under fill right here, you can then click on the white and change it to a red color. And then if you want to make the distance in between your text a little bit smaller, what you can actually do is go to this one right here. Bringing it up is going to make it further apart and bringing it down is going to make them way closer together. If we go ahead and turn that up there, you could also click on it, go into effect controls, click on vector motion and play with the scale here as well. And that's how you create the titles inside of Premiere Pro. I almost never create my titles inside of here because I really enjoy doing it inside of Photoshop or After Effects using Element 3D. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I do that. Now, what I like to do is turn off all the color grades and everything that I have on my footage. Go down to this little camera button right here. Click on it to export the frame. We're going to call this title and we're going to make sure the path is where we want it to be saved. Then we're going to hit OK. Now going ahead and opening up Photoshop here, I'm going to then hit open and then I'm going to open that image just like so. Unlock the background here and we can get started by clicking on the text tool over here on the left and dragging it on our scene just like so. And let's go with the exact same thing. Let's do Skidoo. And if we press Control A, you guys can see it's off to the right. We're going to go up here and put it directly in the middle just like so. And then you can increase the size just here by dragging that up. And let's make it a nice red color as well. So what we're going to do here is just by clicking on the text tool and highlighting it, we can open up our character right here and passing these three dots right here, we get a lot more options. Now playing with this one here, it'll make it taller. This one here is going to make it wider. And then just like before, this one here is going to make the text closer together or further apart. And then clicking up here as well, you can go through all your fonts. I really enjoy doing it inside of Photoshop a lot more. So what I did for this title right here is I went into my browser and I went to my favorite website to find fonts, which is defont.com. And I like to go and sort by new fonts and you can kind of just go through and pick the one you want. Now, what a lot of people don't know is if you type your preview here, let's do I do. Let's say I type skidoo and then hit submit. It's going to change all the fonts to say what you want. So when you go through them, you can already see what it's going to look like. So honestly, I'll spend a couple of hours in here, probably like once a month looking for new fonts. And you can also search by themes. I think Roman Greek is always really cool. Going through medieval, modern. This one's really cool here. Let's say you find one you like. So this one here, for example, you can go up to download. Just click on it and you want to save it wherever you want. I have a fonts folder. You want to hit save. Go up to your download. This little folder thing here to open it instead of finder and then double clicking on it. You can open it, double click on the TTF and then just hit the install button right here. And then boom, you're going to have it on your computer. And the best thing about Photoshop versus Premiere Pro, it's going to automatically sync even though it's open. It'll be inside of here. So it was called Korean. Boom, it's in there just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it and let's bring it closer together and we'll make it a little bit bigger. Now what I like to do as well for my fonts is if you turn off the background, I'm going to render it as a PNG just so it fits nicely inside of Premiere Pro. So what I'll do is I'll save this. I'm going to save it as a PNG like I was saying, save. And then we'll open this up inside of here and we'll put it below all of our color grading. And then we'll go into effects here and then we'll put on a blur. Gaussian blur. And then just by turning up the blurriness, you can kind of get a cool look. And feel free to play with the motion as well put it where you want. Now, I recommend that you guys spend a lot more time on your title, finding more fonts. I kind of rushed it a little bit. I took a lot more time to find something a lot more classy like this. If we go and highlight this here, you guys can see it's this font. So we do ski do and then double clicking on it. What I did is I went into the drop shadow here and I customized the settings by turning the size down the spread and then made the distance and the opacity 100% play with the distance. And then I think I made it come around that side, just like so. So we have a nice look there. And then you could also add a stroke to it if you want. And go with like a nice little white stroke, just like so. And then another tip for titles inside of Photoshop is if you duplicate it, start on the background for reference here. If you duplicate your text there, go and change it to screen and then go up to filter, 
blur Gaussian blur, hit convert to smart object. You can then get this like glowing effect. I'm sure you guys could see the higher you make the blur, the more it's glowing there. And I just highlighting both of them, resize to where you want it, and then turn off the background. You could save it as a PNG, call this two. Hit save, go into Premiere Pro, and then we can drag and drop that in there. And we get kind of a crazy glowing look, not really what I was expecting, a little bit too OD. But what I'll do is I'll go back in here and customize this. Let's just turn the opacity down quite a lot. Re-render that as a PNG, call that three. And you're just gonna go back and forth until you really get something that you like. So boom, we have this right here. And just like I was showing you guys before, if you drag a nice Gaussian blur on there and then turn it up, I really like the way it looks, especially with the film looks. So we get a nice little vintage look there. That's pretty much how I make, those are all the ways I make my 2D titles inside of Premiere Pro and Photoshop. Now let's hop into the most craziest way to do it. it. Takes up the most amount of time, but it honestly looks the sickest at the end of the day if you do it properly. Now, if we go inside of After Effects here, I'm gonna create a new project. And then what I'll do is I'll bring, I'll hit replace After Effects composition, call this Ski. This is gonna open up our clip here inside of After Effects. Now what we're gonna do, as you guys can see, it's not the perfect comp size. We're just gonna ignore that for now. And let's delete the warp stabilizer as well. So what we wanna do now is we're gonna go and right click, hit new, and we're gonna create a new solid. Now this only really works if you have Element 3D, which I highly recommend you guys grabbing. It's the best way to create 3D text inside of After Effects. And it's so simple to use. You guys can create 3D text inside of After Effects in other ways. This is just my favorite way to do it. And you can match to the scene so well. We're gonna call this Skidoo. Then we're going to go up here and press the T button for text and we're going to type skidoo as well. And we're just going to do it with this basic font just to show you guys. Now let's turn this font off and turn the solid back on. We're going to go into effects and presets and type element and hit enter. Let's drag and drop element onto the solid layer here. Now this is where it kind of gets confusing, but I'm going to help you guys all the way through. Go down to custom layers here, open custom text and masks. And under path layer one, you want to select your text, not the solid name, the same thing, but the text. You guys can see the order here. Now, once we have our text selected, let's close this custom layers area and open up scene setup. Now you guys can see there's nothing here, but if we go up here and hit extrude, we'll have our text here just like so. And if you want the bevel to be thicker, what you could do is go inside of bevel scale right here and just expand that until you get it to your liking. Now, if we go into our presets here, we'll have a bunch of different materials. You can throw on this red paint, plastic mat, gold i'm going to throw on chrome for this one here and then going into our environment here there are a bunch of preset environments so if we go ahead and hit okay there you can see our 3d text is in there just like so we can resize it by going into group one opening a particle look and particle replicator and then just increasing the particle size here you guys could see it gets a lot bigger just like so but there's one really cool thing that a lot of people don't know about Element 3D. If we go inside of that same custom layers area and we close custom text, but we open custom texture maps. Under layer one, we can hit none and select our video clip in the background. And then if we go into scene setup here, what we can actually do is open up our extrusion model, click on the Chrome. We can go down to our textures here and under environment, we could actually hit this little arrow here and load the video as a texture itself. And if we hit okay here, you guys can see it matches the video settings a lot more. And if we close this and go into render settings as well, we could play with the lighting. Let's just do single light. Let's try a warm bot. It's not really changing it too much, but you can play with the light fall off here. Now what I do for all of my text is I turn shadows on and I change it to ray traced. And then I also go into ambient occlusion, turn that on and change that to ray traced as well. You guys saw immediately there what it did. See, it makes the shadows so much better. What I also recommend doing as well is opening up rotation here. You can play with the rotation of your text and keyframe all this here. So let's say we go to the beginning and we keyframe our rotation just like so. Have it start there. And end here. If we play that through, you guys can see we kind of get an animation here. And if you pair that with turning on multi object, just by turning that on there, we can go into rotation random here and we can randomize all of these to be individuals. So if we go ahead and keyframe that and just move it a little bit, just like so, and then have it go the opposite way. Now we can get a look just like this, which is super clean. And you can also play with the rotation of the individual letters here as well. So if I have them start here and then have them come into zero, and I highlight them, you can right click and go into keyframe assistant and easy ease that. There's honestly so much stuff to play around with inside of Element 3D. Let's say we want to copy these by pressing Control C. We could paste them at the end here and then change the way and then flip them around just like so. So when they go out, they fold. Bring this one to the end here. 
And then if you open up Premiere Pro, you can get an exact look on it. You go ahead and turn these layers off here. You can see exactly how it looks inside of here. What I also recommend doing as well, especially if there's a lot of motion on top of your Element 3D layer, throw on something called RSMB Pro which I'll also recommend. And you can play with the amount right here. It's basically just gonna add motion blur and make everything a lot smoother. So especially if we zoom in on like one of these quick animations here, you guys can see the motion blur fit on and off. And what I also recommend doing, if it's too dark, just like on that clip right there, I always throw a Lumetri color on here and play with the basic correction. And that is my music video title, Masterclass. If you guys enjoyed this video and learned something, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I make a ton of tutorials that are super easy to follow, just like this one. And if you guys want to see another video just like this, check out this video right here. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.